Hello everyone. Learning outcomes are explain and demonstrate numerical control. What is numerical control? Difference between NC and CNC technology. Explain and demonstrate conventional and CNC machine. What are the main advantages of numerical control? Types of CNC machine tools safety related to CNC work. So now let us start explain and demonstrate numerical control. Numerical control technology as it is known today emerged in the mid 20th century the real boom came in the form of cnc around the year of 1972 and a decade later with the introductions of affordable micro computer in the manufacturing field and particularly in the area of metal working so numerical control technology has caused something of a revolution the recent evolution of micro electronic and the never ceasing computer development including its impact on numerical control has brought significant changes to manufacturing sector in general and metal working industry in particular so what is numerical control so numerical control can be defined as an operation of machine tools by the means of specifically code instructions to the machine control system the instructions are combination of the letter of alphabet digits and selected symbols for example a decimal point the percent sign or the parenthesis symbols all in a structure are written in a logical order and the predetermined form the collection of all instructions necessary to machine a part is called an nc program cnc program or a part program such a program can be stored for a future used and used repeatedly to achieve identical machining result at any time difference between nc and cnc technology difference in the meaning of the abbreviations nc and cnc the nc stand for the older and original numerical control technology whereby the abbreviation cnc stand for newer computerized numerical control technology both system perform the same task namely manipulation of data for the purpose of machining a part in both cases the internal design of the control system contains the logical instruction that process the data at this point the similarity ends the nc systems as opposed to the cnc system uses a fixed logical functions those that are built in and permanently wired within the control units these functions cannot be changed by the programmer or the machine operator because of the fixed wiring of the control logic the nc control system is synonymous with the term hardwired the system can interpret a part program but it does not allow any changes to the program using the control features the modern system but not the old nc system use an internal microprocessor that is a computer this computer contains memory registers storing a variety of routines that the capable of manipulating logical functions that means the part programmer or the machine operator can change the program on the control itself at the machine with instantaneous results the flexibility is the greatest advantage of the cnc system and wide uses of the technology in modern manufacturing the cnc programs and the logical functions are stored on a special computer chips as software instructions rather than used by the hardware connections such as wired that control the logical functions in contrast to the nc system the cnc system is synonymous with the term soft wired the letter c stand for computerized and is not applicable to the hard wired system all control system manufactured today are the cnc design now come to the discuss here the conventionals and cnc machining what makes the cnc machining superior to the conventional methods is it superior at all where are the main benefits if the cnc and the conventional machine process are compared a common general approach to machining a part will emerge obtain and study the drawing select the most suitable machining method decide the setup method work holding select the cutting tools establish a speed and feeds machine the part maintaining dimensional tolerance and surface finish quality are the most typical problems in conventional machining the machining under numerical control does with the majority of 
inconsistencies it does not require the same physical involvement as manual machining cnc machine consideration should also be given to the part complexity its tolerance the required qualities of surface finish etc now to come to discuss here numerical control advantage so what are the main advantages of numerical control what is the basic difference between conventional machines compared to cnc machines some of the major areas where the cnc users can be should expect improvement setup time reduction lead time reduction accuracy and repeatability complex shapes simplified tooling and work holding consistent cutting time general productivity increases so now some brief about what is setup time reduction modular fixturing a standard tooling fixed locators automatic tool changing pallets other advanced features make the setup time more efficient than a comparable setup of a conventional machine with a good knowledge of modern manufacturing productivity can be increased significantly a very similar reductions can be achieved by grouping several different operations into a single setup even if the setup times is longer it may be justified when compared to the time required to set up several conventional machines lead time reduction once a part program is written and proven it is ready to used again in the future even at a short notice long lead time required to design and manufacture several special fixtures for conventional machines accuracy and repeatability the high degree of accuracy and repeatability of modern cnc machines has been the single major benefit to many users the high accuracy of cnc machines and their repeatability allows high quality part to be produce consistently time after time contouring and complex shaping cnc lathes and machining center that means cnc milling are capable of contouring a variety of shapes a good example are cnc applications in the aircraft and automotive industries mirror parts can be achieved literally at the switch of a button a storage of programs is a lot simpler than a storage of patterns templates wooden models and other pattern making tools simplified tooling and work holding nomenclature and homemade tooling that cutters the benches and drawers around a conventional machine can be eliminated by using a standard tooling specifically designed for numerical control application multiple setup tools such as pilot drills a step drills combination tools counter bores and others are replaced with several individual standard tools these tools are often cheaper and easier to replace than a special and non standard tools fixturing and work holding for cnc machines have only one major purpose to hold the part rigidly and the seam positions for all parts within a bench fixtures designed for cnc work do not normally required jigs pilot holes and other holes locating adds now the next topics is types of cnc machine tools different kinds of cnc machine cover an extremely large variety here is a brief list of some of the groups cnc machine can be part of mills and machining centers lathes and turning centers drill machines boring mills and profilers edm machines punch press and shears flame cutting machines routers water jet and laser profilers cylindrical grinders welding machines benders winding and spinning machines etc now come to the discuss here the mills and machining centers so a standard number of axes on a mills milling machine is 3 the x y and z axis the part set on a milling system is always a stationary mounted on a moving machine table the cutting tools rotates it can move up and down or in and out in industry they are used for tool room work or a small part production they are usually designed for contouring cnc machining center are far more popular and efficient than drills and mills mainly for their flexibility the main benefit the user gets out of a cnc machining center is the ability to group several diverse operations into a single step for example drilling boring 
contour boring taping a spot facing and contour milling can be in incorporated into a single cnc program in addition the flexibility is enhanced by automatic tool changing using pallets to minimize ideal time indexing to a different side of part using a rotary movement of additional axis and a number of other features cnc machining center can be equipped with a special software and control the speed and fades there are two basic designs on a typical cnc machining center they are the vertical and the horizontal machining center for a vertical cnc machining center the most suitable type of work are flat parts either mounted to the fixture on the table or held in vise or a chuck the work that required machining on two or more faces in a single step is more desirable to be done on a cnc horizontal machining center a good example is a pump housing the programming process is the same for both designs but the additional axis usually a b axis is added to the horizontal design this axis is either a simple positioning axis indexing axis for the table or a fully rotary axis for simultaneously contouring basically i concentrate on the cnc vertical machine centers applications now the next topic is the lathe and turning center so some brief explanation about the lathe and turning centers A CNC lathe is usually a machine tool with two axes, the vertical x axis and the horizontal z axis. The main feature of a lathe that distinguishes it from a mill is that the part is rotating about the machine center line. In addition, the cutting tool is normally a stationary mounted in a sliding turret. The cutting tool follows the contour of the programmed tool path. The modern lathe design can be horizontal or vertical. Horizontal type is far more common than the vertical type. CNC lathe can be very versatile. So versatile in fact that it is often called a CNC turning center. So CNC programmer. The CNC programmer is usually the person who has the most responsibility in the CNC machine shop. This person is held responsible for problems related to the CNC operations. This person is often accountable for the production and quality of all CNC operation. CNC programmer must be able to decide upon the best manufacturing technology in all respect the last important quality of a truly professional CNC programmer his or her ability to listen to the other people the engineers the CNC operators the manager good listening skills are the first prerequisite for become flexible a good CNC programmer must be flexible in other to offer high programming qualities So now CNC machine operator the operator is responsible for the tool and machine setup for the changing of the parts often even for some in process inspection many companies expect quality control at the machine and the operator of any machine tool manual or computerized is also responsible for the quality of the work done on that machine one of the very important responsibility of the cnc machine operator is to report finding about each program to the programmer even with the best knowledge skills attitudes and intentions the final program can always be improved the cnc operator begin the one who is the closest to the actual machining known precisely what extent such improvement can be and this is the very important topics of the safety related to cnc work So one of the wall of many companies is a safety posters bill with a simple a powerful message the first rule of safety is to follow all safety rules safety is the most important element in programming setup machining tooling fixturing inspection shipping and its operation within a typical machine shop daily work safety is a large subject but a few points that related to the cnc work are important every machinist should know the hazards of mechanical and electric devices the first step toward a safe workplace is with a clean work area where no chips while as spills on and other debris are allowed to accumulate on the floor taking care of personal safety is equally important loose clothing jewelry ties scarves unprotected long hair improper use of gloves and similar infractions is dangerous machining environment protection of eyes ears hands and feet is strongly recommended in programming observation of safety rules is also important a tool motion can be programmed in many way speeds and feeds 
have realistic not just mathematically correct depth of cut width of cut the tool characteristics all have a profound effect on overall safety all these ideas are just a very short summary and a reminder that safety should always be taken seriously